Um, wait. What's that rhythm? Oh. What's that rhythm? Oh. Hey y'all. This is Savannah back with another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Today it's just me solo and today I'm going to be talking about a highly requested subject which is nursing. I'm a nurse. Just a little background if you don't know about me. I graduated nursing school about a year and a half ago and I've been a nurse since. So I've been getting tons of questions about nursing school, the nursing profession, life as a nurse. So I'm here to answer some of those questions for you all. I'm so excited about today's video because these are all things that I wish I would have known before getting into nursing school. So I'm excited to give you all these tips or answer your questions and maybe it'll help you before you start your nursing journey. So this video I'm gonna call five frequently asked questions about nursing. And I know some people have asked me more than these five questions, but if you all are still interested and still have more questions, I'll make this a series and go more in depth on each subject or whatever you all have questions about. So question number one is why did I choose nursing and how could someone decide if nursing was for them? So let's get into it. That's a very personal decision. How I knew nursing was right for me. Uh, as a child, I always knew I wanted to get into the medical profession in some capacity. You know, it's down between medical school, nursing school. My grandmother was a nurse, and I've heard her stories and how she got to impact the lives of so many. And that really kind of started to steer me towards the nursing route. I did a lot of shadowing in high school, which I definitely recommend that if you're in high school and you're thinking about any profession, get in there and shadow because it could be something totally different than what you expect. So when I started to shadow, I did a lot of volunteer hours at the hospital and I started to fill out, I think this is for me. I knew I wanted to be in a profession of service. I love people. If you don't like nurse, if you don't like people, nursing might not be for you. It's a very people oriented profession. You're dealing with people all day. And I know sometimes nurses on Instagram can make nursing seem like the most glamorous profession, but it's not. If you have a weak stomach, it may be a difficult profession for you to get into. But for me, the main reasons I chose nursing was because I wanted to be in a career where I could serve people every day, where I would be challenged and where I would learn something new in the medical field every day. And that's what I have. Okay, so question number two is gonna be about getting into nursing school. I have to say, I think this has been the biggest stressor in my life thus far. So it depends on school to school, but no matter where you go, nursing school is competitive. It's just kind of the nature of the beast. But depending on what school you go to, sometimes they accept people into their program freshman year, or they'll, they'll make you a pre-nursing major and they accept people into their program sophomore year. Either way, you have to be very competitive with your grades. I was so serious about my grades. I think I stressed myself out way too much because I just knew I had to have a 4.0. I think I cried to my boyfriend many of nights. So. I was always told how competitive nursing school was, so it really just shook me to my core in college. I stressed so much about making good grades, which you absolutely need to do. But in hindsight, I wish I wouldn't have stressed as much, but I do wanna stress the importance of making the highest grades possible, getting involved in organizations, volunteering at your local hospitals, because along with grades, they also put a big emphasis on those things as well. Volunteerism, are you a leader? Are you trying to do things for your community outside of nursing? Though all of those things matter on your application as well. Another part of your nursing school application will be your essay. So for some reason, if you didn't have the best grades or there was a period of time where your grades slipped, put that in your essay, let them know why you have a slip up there and what you did to overcome that or if you've dealt with something difficult in your life, put that in there, how you overcame that, why you're a leader and why you are so passionate about this, about nursing because everyone writes, oh, I wanna help people. Get, 
dig deeper and find out, you know, why are you really dedicating your life to this profession? Another thing I want to say about nursing school is that everybody doesn't get in. And that's the nature of the beast. And I had accepted that. And if I knew that if I didn't get in, I had made plans to go to another nursing school. But I knew no matter what nursing was for me. But if someone doesn't get into nursing school, it's okay. It's very competitive. Try again. Look into other schools. Do your research. If, if nursing is what you want to do, put in the work to get it done. Even if you can't get it done at one institution, look for other places. And don't get discouraged if you don't get in the first time. Personal story for me, I applied my freshman year to nursing and I did not get in. And I just was devastated. But I think in the long run, that was a good thing that happened to me because that next year I worked so hard to get in my sophomore year. And by the grace of God, I got in. So question number three is how do we get through this thing known as nursing school? I'm not gonna lie to you, nursing school is it's difficult. It's definitely doable, manageable, and you can get through it, but I'm not gonna lie, it is difficult, challenging, and it requires some effort, work, and time. So things that helped me get through nursing school was one, being organized. Look. I live by a planner and some people can remember everything in their heads but if you can't a planner can be your best friend especially if you're involved in other organizations you don't want to miss any due dates you have clinicals to be at I write everything down and plan my life to a T. I know that's not always optimal, but as much as I can plan, I try to. And that helped me a lot in nursing school to not stress as much because I knew exactly what I had to do and when to do it. Other things that helped me in nursing school, my classes before I actually got into nursing school were difficult, but I didn't have to study as much. When I got into nursing school, I really had to study. Like, you know, I really had to read the chapters. I really had to go back home and review my lecture notes because it's not, it wasn't for me where I could study the day before and pass the test. So I personally would start preparing for a test two weeks out where I would prepare for at least a section or day or do a, a chapter a day to be ready for the test. So when it came time for the test the night before, I could review wake up refreshed and go take the test and wouldn't have to be so stressed school yeah. i want to let you all know don't did don't get discouraged if you get into nursing school and you start to feel like things aren't coming to you as easy as they used to nursing school is a different beast so in a lot of your other classes maybe if you studied you knew all the information you took the test made an a boom Nursing school is a little different because even if you study, you know all the information, you get to the test and every option may be right. And you have to pick which is the most right of all of the right answers. So it's just a different learning curve and they're asking you the questions that way to prepare you for NCLEX. And I'll talk a little bit more about NCLEX at the end of the video. But that's why it's seeming more difficult. And it gets better once you learn what they're expecting of you and you learn how to answer those questions correctly. But don't get discouraged if that's a little harder for you starting off. So question number four is about this big concept known as NCLEX. What is NCLEX? How do I pass NCLEX? How do I prepare for NCLEX? Everything NCLEX. Let's go. The test can ask you pretty much anything. Some people say they had a lot of mental health. Some people have a lot of mother baby. Some people have a lot of farm. Some people have a lot of delegation. I personally had a lot of delegation and prioritization. A book I got for that was the La Charity Delegation book and I'll link a picture of that down below. That helped me really focus on those priority questions and I received a lot of those on my exam. So I was grateful that I did use that book to study with. So how I prepared was they can ask you anything so I just prepared by studying a little bit of everything. 
and I knew when I took my test, if I passed, if I didn't pass, I, w I gave it my best shot. And how I prepared, everyone wants to pass in 75 questions. That is the whole thing. Um, so I told myself I was gonna go in, they take your phone, they take everything from you, and it's just you and a computer in a, com in a cubicle. And I said, if I went, got the 75 questions and it doesn't shut off, I'm gonna take a break. So I got to 75, it didn't shut off. Took a break, got my mind right, because it, that doesn't mean anything. You can get up to 265 and still pass, so don't freak out. The people that I know often that didn't do so well on NCLEX, they get past a certain number and they, they let their anxiety take over them. So just try your best to stay calm. I got to 75, I excused myself, went to the restroom, took a deep breath, said a prayer, regained my confidence, sat back down to take the test, took two more questions and it shut off. So that was my NCLEX experience. Everyone's experience is different. If you don't pass the first time, it is okay. I know it sucks. You don't want to take it again. You don't want it to study. You don't want to study again. I promise you it's okay. And it happens to more people than you realize. Some of the best people I know, some of the best nurses I know did not pass NCLEX on the first time. So do not be discouraged. Question number five, all about the moolah, finding a job. So you went through all of school, all of clinicals, you passed NCLEX, now you need a job. The whole reason you went to nursing school. So now I'm gonna tell you about finding a job or how I went about finding a job as a nurse. My first tip about finding a job is starting early. So for example, I was set to graduate in May. I started the application process late January, early February. So don't wait too late, especially if you have a specialty you want to do as far as ICU, peds, mother, baby, labor and delivery. All of those positions fill up really quickly. So if you know you have an interest in one of those fields, start early. Um, something I was glad our school made us do, we already had our resumes ready to go. So if you, if you need to make sure you have a good professional resume ready for when you begin the application process. Another thing about finding a job is they really look at where you did your preceptorship. You might not know about this yet, but in your last year of nursing school, you do a preceptorship and that's like a really intense clinical in just one specific area. So say if you wanna work into an ICU, jobs look at where you did your preceptorship and they were more likely to hire you for a ICU position if you did your preceptorship in an ICU, which is what I did. And I'm glad I made that decision that that decision was and that opportunity was made available to me. But for example, don't do your preceptorship in cardiac if you really wanna be in labor and delivery. So try to align those as much as possible. Another thing is go to career fairs, go to job fairs. It's a nursing shortage out here. You are wanted as a nurse. So market yourself, go around, ask questions, see who's offering the best benefits package look into nurse residency programs this is a newer thing they're starting to do within the last couple years but it's one of the best things for new nurses nurse residency programs are geared for nurses with less than a year of experience and what they do is they kind of cater you in because you're a new nurse you've never worked as a nurse before and you just don't want to be thrown out to the wolves and expect to be this proficient professional nurse. So what nurse residency programs do, they still give you some classes, they put you with a preceptor, and they kind of ease you into being a nurse while helping develop you professionally and as a leader at the same time. So I definitely recommend nurse residency programs and most hospitals are doing them now. So if you're a new grad, I definitely would check out which hospitals are offering nurse residency programs. I started my process early in late January, February, talking to recruiters, uh, getting my 
resume out there, submitting my applications. And I was so glad I did that because I knew I had a job right when I got off of spring break. I knew I got the job I wanted to. And I was so excited when I got the call. It was, I still remember it very vividly. It was a very happy moment because it's like, wow, all this work I've put into, I got the job that I wanted. So it was so exciting. And I got that call in March. So I got that months before I graduated. So I was just, you know, coasting out to graduation. So I was glad I started so early because one, I was able to get the position that I wanted to. And two, I didn't have to get to the end of my semester and try to scramble about finding a job. So that's all folks for my five frequently asked questions about nursing. It is so many other topics and questions out there about nursing. And if you all are interested, I am more than happy to make a series that goes more in depth on how to do a professional nursing resume, NCLEX study tips, school study tips, life in a day of a nurse, how we do our scheduling. I want to be able to help you all with all that. It's just a lot to fit into one video. So definitely, if you like this video, comment down below. Send me DMs on my Instagram or Twitter, which accounts which are also down below or up here, wherever they probably will be. Um, <laughs> um, send me questions. I really want to help in any way that I can. If I can provide you with any resources, I would love to be there to help in any way. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for more nursing videos more good nursing content and subscribe like this video and please share it to anyone that you know that maybe started nursing school thinking about nursing school please share this video to help them through their process thank you all so much maybe not that no we keeping it <laughs>